The movie begins in 1918, showing a battlefield at the end of World War I, where a German soldier named Thomas is left for dead after an artillery explosion, being thrown into the mass grave. In a semi-conscious state due to the explosion, he had a strange vision, that of a girl who calls him back to life. Just then an older soldier sees him still breathing in the pile of corpses, and pulls him out of a flooded trench. The movie then moves forward six months where Thomas is now a very peculiar photographer, who offers bereaved relatives the possibility of having a last permanent memory of their dead, composing family photos in which the living and the dead pose together. One day Thomas is visited by a little girl named Anna, who asks him to take photos of the corpses in his village, and then we see a shadow there, after which the girl leaves, and Thomas sees how his hallucination seems to materialize in the enigmatic person of Anna, an orphan girl of about 10 years of age. Thomas then goes with Anna and her relatives to their village, where he notices some strange things. Then suddenly a dog starts barking at him, after which a man comes there and takes Thomas to Marx's house, where she gives him a room to stay. Thomas then sees a dog outside playing with an invisible entity. Then he sees Anna going somewhere and goes with her. She takes him to a cemetery in the middle of the forest, where they talk for a while and then go back. Now Thomas is sleeping in his room at night when he starts hearing some noises, which wakes him up. He checks here and there and again lies down in the bed, but then he hears someone screaming, and he comes outside to check with a lamp. He enters a room and only then he hears a strange sound and comes to a gallery. Only then he hears the sound of someone running on the roof, due to which he gets very scared. He goes a little further where he sees stairs. He climbs on it to look into the attic but there his lamp goes off. Thomas comes down and lights the lamp again and goes back to attic, but there he see nothing. So he comes down and only then attic door gets closed. After this Thomas comes back and goes to sleep in his room, and only then we see a shadow which is just above him and starts looking at him. The next day a man from the village takes Thomas to an empty house, where Thomas sets up his photography lab. While setting the studio, the cupboard starts opening automatically, and only then some people come there with a corpse. After this Thomas gets on with his work and he starts preparing a corpse for the photo. But here we see that corpse moving. Thomas sets it right and then clicks his photo. After this he sets up another corpse and then clicks its photo with her relative. Thomas then takes photos of several more corpses with their family members. And one day, while he is preparing a corpse, Anna comes to his studio. Anna here tells him that she was not alive when she was born. Then after a while her breath came. While they are talking, then the dead body lying behind suddenly moves, due to which both of them are shocked. After this, Anna starts looking at a photo album of Thomas, when suddenly they hear some sound after which Anna leaves from there. Anna comes out and meets Lassica, a child who is wearing a mask on his face. Those people are talking about something during which Lassica takes off his mask, but then Lassica's mother comes and wears him mask and takes him from there, after which Anna also goes to her house. Now Thomas too was watching all this and follows Anna to her house, where he tries to peek inside through a window. He sees that Anna is feeding her auntie, and then suddenly her aunt looks at Thomas in a very strange way. Seeing this he leaves from there. After this he comes to his lab and starts developing the photos. When the photo is developed, he sees a shadow in it, which he is surprised to see. So he develops the photo again and it also has the same shadow. Now we see that all the photos taken by Thomas had that shadow, which makes him a little worried. After this, he clicks the photo from different angles and starts checking by hand at the place where the shadow is visible in the photos. Then suddenly he hears a scream from outside. So Thomas looks out the window where he sees people running. Seeing all this, Thomas also comes running outside, where we see that a house was on fire. Everyone enters the house where smoke was coming out of the fireplace. People start removing the furniture kept there and only then they see the legs of a burnt corpse inside the fireplace, which everyone is quite shocked to see. Thomas starts clicking its photo and people start trying to take out the corpse. Then a man breaks the wall with the help of an axe, from inside which they get to see a very scary face of that corpse, which everyone gets scared after seeing. Thomas takes her photo too, then the water starts coming from the walls, and that corpse automatically falls down which was looking very scary. Now Thomas is looking at the photos and there is that shadow in them too. Then Anna comes to him and hear all the things kept in Thomas's studio start shaking and falling here and there. The furniture kept there also starts moving, seeing which Anna gets very scared and runs out from there. Thomas also comes running after her and tries to calm her. Here Anna tells Thomas that it is all her fault, 
and she should not have brought Thomas here. She angrily asks him to leave from there and leaves crying. Now Thomas shows the photo to Marxa and asks about it. He asks if you are not afraid of them, to which she tells him that all the men of the village went to war, and many people died of Spanish flu, and they cannot even bury the dead bodies due to the frozen ground. Hearing this, Thomas says that he is going back tomorrow, to which she tells him that it would be better, as things are getting worse because of him. Now Thomas is trying to sleep at night when he suddenly starts levitating in the air. Due to this, he gets very scared and starts leaving from there only at night. Anna tries to stop him, but he leaves from there. Now Thomas stops to rest at one place and is looking at the photos, when suddenly he starts hearing the voice of Anna, hearing which he starts looking here and there. Then he sees Anna, who starts levitating in the air and then starts screaming. But then Thomas wakes up from sleep and he was just having a dream. Thomas then goes back to Anna's village, where Anna and Marxa are overjoyed to see him. Anna then takes Thomas to one of her aunts, who tells them that she once heard someone running on the roof and usually hears someone whisper. Just then another lady comes there who tells them that they had come inside her house one day, and their hands were skeleton which were completely cold. By morning, the wall was covered with fungus as if it had rotted, and after that it never came to his house again. Here Thomas tells her that maybe he can be someone of his own. They then ask Anna to take Thomas to Annie. On the way, Anna asks Thomas if he has come back for her to which he agrees. After this, both of them are doing some investigation by going to a house, where they start hearing some sound from inside a wall, and when they go there and look, they see traces of blood. Then suddenly the house shakes very loudly, after which both of them leave from there. They then goes to Annie's house, where she tells them that before the battle, she worked as a maid for a judge in the city. The judge's wife often used to call ghosts. Once the judge became very ill and his wife called the ghosts, and begged them for the judge's life and he survived. But after that those souls started living in the same house and started harming the people. They tried a lot to drive away the spirits, but they did not go, and when the judge died after a few years, then those souls also went away. Annie tells them that she has been listening to their voices for a few months now, and they just keep whispering. She asks them to talk to Jutka. After this both of them go to Jutka, who tells them that one day her husband's head went inside his body, and he died. After which water spread everywhere and water was flowing from the walls too. After this Jutka leaves from there, and both of them come to the basement. Here Thomas asks is there anyone here? When they do not get any answer, they both start coming upstairs. But we see a shadow crawling over there. Now Thomas comes upstairs and Anna is following. But then the door closes due to which Anna gets locked in the basement. Seeing this, Thomas goes to open the door, but an invisible force catches him and makes him sit on the chair. Anna gets very scared of all this, and we see that the shadow is slowly moving towards her. Here Anna calls Thomas but she was speaking the name Temer, and Thomas was also calling Anna as Jutka. Here we can actually see the scene as to how Jutka's husband had died. After this everything comes down and both of them run out of the house where they meet Jutka. Here Thomas asks her where is her husband's body upon which she tells him that it is in the barn. They both go to the place where many dead bodies are lying. Here Anna tells Thomas the names of all of them, and also tells that they all died of Spanish flu. Thomas asks some more questions about those dead bodies and also takes photos of them. Here he also takes a photo of Anna. After this he sees the corpse of Jack his husband, and then sees some other corpses in which he sees some marks, which are made by the blasts. Thomas tells Anna that the ghost can control the wind and use it as a blast. Here Thomas feels that he should talk to those ghosts, because by killing people like this, they wants to say something to them. Here Anna tells Thomas that they could have killed us too, to which Thomas tells her that maybe they wants to talk to us. Here Thomas says that we will know through the pictures what they wants to say. After this Thomas starts developing the photos and then suddenly the room starts shaking, due to which Thomas and Anna get scared, and then the door opens automatically. After this, both of them go to the barn and tie some bells and utensils, and drop the flyer on the floor, so that they can know about any movement. Thomas then goes to the church and sets up a pinhole camera there. Now both come back to the barn and start talking. On the other hand, we see Lassica, who is walking from a neighboring house, holding a rope and going towards his house. Then that rope starts moving and his mask flies off, and it becomes dark in the whole village. Thomas and Anna hear loud noises coming from the roof and bells start ringing inside the barn. After this, they start seeing some shadows there. On the other hand, Lassica stands in a strange position in front of his house, 
and suddenly an invisible force pulls him away. His mother tries to save him but someone grabs her leg. That entity drags Lassica away and starts banging him on the door of a house. Here Lassica looked completely possessed. On the other hand, Anna suddenly falls on top of the dead bodies, and when Thomas goes to save her, the entity drops him too and starts dragging him. After a while everything calms down and all the torches are lit again. After this Thomas and Anna come out of the barn and are quite scared. Thomas asks Anna to stay outside and goes back to the barn to get the camera. But coming inside, he sees that all the dead bodies were standing and sitting, and there was Anna among them. Thomas is quite surprised to see this. Anna stands alone outside, and we see a shadow on the roof of the barn. Inside, Anna stands up and attacks Thomas, due to which he gets scared, but then Anna comes inside from outside, after which all the dead bodies fall. The next morning Thomas goes to Marxa and tells her that he has to take a bath, on which she gives him hot water. But when Thomas is in the bathroom, we see her watching him stealthily. After this, Anna and Thomas are listening to the recording of the last night, in which they do not get anything. So Thomas goes to the studio to develop photos. But outside Anna hears something in the recording, in which someone was saying that take us from here. On hearing this, Anna calls Thomas after which Thomas comes out after developing the photos. Now Anna makes him listen to the recording, in which Ghost was telling Thomas to take him to the grave. Thomas is shocked to hear this, and then someone knocks on his door. There are all the villagers outside who are eager to know everything. Anna tells them that Thomas has taken a lot of photos and has also recorded the voices of those ghosts. She says that Thomas will talk to them to find out what they want. They then go to Anna's house where Thomas sees blood smeared on the door. Thomas rotates the photo through which he reaches a house. When he goes inside the house, there is water flowing from the walls, and he sees four dead bodies sitting there on chairs, in which one body is of Lassica. Then some women from the villages come there, who start blaming Thomas for all this. After this all the people run out and come out, where some invisible force starts pulling him right. People try to save him but the force drags him inside Anna's house, and we see Anna's aunt getting possessed. Now that entity starts slamming him around the roof, and takes him inside it, everyone gets scared and comes out of the house. After this some people take out a rally of Jesus and ask for his help in this trouble. But the ghosts get more angry with this, and kill that priest by possessing him. After this, the ghosts start tossing the women of the villages here and there in the air. Here Anna's aunt also comes over there and falls on Thomas, and in a strange voice tells him to take him to the grave. She faints after saying this. Some people come and pick her up, and on the other side we see Lassica's dead body also coming there. Thomas tells everyone to go inside the church, where Lassica comes up to them and levitates in the air saying, they will kill them all and then he falls. Now everyone is very scared in the church when Thomas notices that Anna is not there. Just then the door of the church opens, and he sees Anna standing outside. People stop Thomas from going out, but when Thomas goes out, Anna is not there. Thomas then goes to the barn where Anna is levitating. Then Marxa also comes there and the ghost starts dragging Anna away. Here Thomas tells Marxa that only Anna's aunt who is about to die can take these ghosts with her. The ghost drags Anna and brings her to her aunt. Thomas here asks all the villagers to bring all the dead bodies to Anna's house. At his behest, the villagers do the same and that ghost now starts troubling Anna and her aunt a lot. The whole village starts shaking badly, due to which the people of the village gets very scared. Now Anna's house starts sinking into the ground, Thomas picks Anna up and gives her out of the house to Marxa, but he himself could not get out, and that house starts sinking into the ground. A man sets fire to that house, and inside the house starts filling water from everywhere. Then a corpse lying outside catches fire, which starts running in all the villages and starts burning all the houses. Inside the house was now filled with too much water. Thomas starts looking for a way out by jumping into the water, but there Anna's aunt attacks him fearing that Thomas comes back out of the water. But Anna's aunt drags him back into the water, and Thomas faints after a while. Now we see Thomas in a different world, where he sees all the dead bodies of the village whose photos he had clicked. On the other hand we see Marxa who goes inside the house to save Thomas. Here Thomas sees Anna's aunt who attacks him, and then all the corpses start coming alive. Here Marxa ties a rope to Thomas' feet, after which the man starts pulling him out. They take out Thomas, after which Marxa also comes out. Here Thomas is still trapped in another world where he starts to levitate, and he sees Anna beside him, and Anna is also trying to wake up Thomas outside. Then suddenly Thomas regains consciousness, and once again Anna brought him back from death. 
and then those ghosts also leave from that village. After this we see that Thomas is now going back, and he also takes Anna with him. On the way, they see the corpse of a cow, and the screams of people are heard from a nearby village. This means that those ghosts had now come to this village. Seeing this, Thomas and Anna set out to save the village, and the movie ends here. Thanks for watching, 